don't worry. All through the Bible, it teaches us not to worry. Worry is prayer in reverse. That's why so many things that happen to people, people are worrying about this, they're worried about that. You can't worry. God's in charge. Don't worry. Don't worry, because God's got plans for you if you will dig for the gold and the skills and the talents that are inside of you. You'll become what God created you to be if you are prepared. Be around people who will heal, increase, and teach you, and mentor you. That is why the new birth has a profound effect on the way we do things and who we associate with. Never share your problems with anyone, with any person, and yes, they, you know that they can benefit you. See, this is one of the things. This is how gossip gets started. People worry about certain things and they go and find and talk to somebody and don't talk to that person and tell them your problems if they're not someone who can help you. That's how gossip gets started. That's how people ruin people's reputations. So we should never share any problems with anyone unless we know that they can benefit us. It's time to get rid of the rats in your life. And when I say rats, that means anything that is negative. Any, and especially if it's in your family. If you know there's someone in your family that cusses too much or does things that irritate you, be around them on holidays and stuff, but it's time to stay away from the people who affect your life. And if you spell rats backwards, you'll become the star God intended in the first place. You see, it's your decisions that will create your future. But it's only your decisions. See, there's two main things. It's our decisions and it's our choices that determine our life. If you want to be a star, you've got to make the right choices. If you want to be uh, considered a crook or something like that, you've made bad choices. It's your decisions that will create your future. But remember, wherever you are, God put you there for a reason. So you've got to learn from the past, you've got to live in the present, and you've got to plan for the future. See, every day we wake up, we shouldn't think about the past, we shouldn't think about the, you want to learn from the past, and you want to plan for the future, but we are in the present. Why is today called a present? We need to open ourselves up every single day and see the good that God put into us. You know, this is one thing. People wake up every day, and most people out there are unhappy. They're unhappy with their jobs, their spouses. Uh, the kids are too noisy, too loud, whatever. Many people are unhappy. You've got to wake up every day and smell the flowers, smell the roses. Go out there and look at nature. Look what God created. Hey, you've got to live in the... You've got to learn from the past, live in the present, and plan for the future. I mean, why don't we just go out and start doing that? A world revival, I believe, is in the making. Are you prepared for it? Are you qualified for it? Is the church prepared for it? Is the government qualified or prepared for it? Are the least, the last, prepared to be the first? Are the first prepared to be the last? Those who see and hear, they will understand. Joel Osteen once said, God will send people who celebrate your talents, your personality, and your accomplishments. With them you can relax and be who God made you to be. Wow, wow. wouldn't that be nice? The Bible is very important, and that's why we shouldn't worry. Because every time we pick it up, we should gain a pearl of wisdom. Jesus said, watch and pray that ye enter not into temptation. The spirit is indeed willing, but the flesh is weak. We want to do all the fleshly things. We want to. That's what the evil one wants us to do. We want, we thrive for the flesh. We want to satisfy. We want instant gratification as much as we can get it. But we've got to learn to control ourselves. The new birth will not make you a perfect Christian. There's no perfect Christian. We're all going to sin. 
but it will make you a committed one. And if you can become a committed one and not be afraid to share the gospel, then God can usually use you greatly. And I believe deep in your heart, you know that too. The reason you know that too, or you wouldn't be listening right now. You wouldn't be watching this. You just wouldn't be. So please take your time to know Jesus. In Luke 23, 34, Jesus said, Father, forgive them, for they know not what they do. Wow. I brew, there was a famous preacher once. I don't remember exactly his name. It might have been Dr. Murdoch. It might have been one of the other famous preachers on TV. I don't know which one said it. But it says, God knows those who have done you wrong. Wow. God will not only avenge you and make your wrongs right, but he'll also bless you in front of your enemies. Wow. Wisdom. Wow. W-O-W stands for words of wisdom. Your assignment is to begin so another's future also may begin. Someone said, you will receive the respect you deserve. Right where you are, for your preparation reveals your passion. Please read, Every Day is a Friday by Joel Listing. This is probably where I got that quote. Jesus said, peace be unto you as my Father has sent me. Even so I send you. Wow! Can you believe that? Jesus said, Peace be unto you as my Father has sent me. Also, I send you. Jesus, is this true? If so, people have no need to worry. If this is true, please pick up your Bible and repeat after me. This holy book, my favorite book, has the Holy Spirit flowing all the way through it. Entering into my heart. Entering into your heart creating the dreams and the plans that God has for each and every one of us. You need to write that I Am poem. You need to write that book. It's all healing. When little kids are young, they love to color. They're free play. As they get a little bit older, they think it's just kid stuff. But art and color are healing. It gets your mind off of yourself and on to helping other people. 